Welcome to Medicine Woman Tarot. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Aries. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Father God, in the name of your son, Jesus Christ, help me to give a clear and accurate reading for the sign of Aries. If you would like to make any donations towards my channel, you can find the link in the description section. If you would like a membership, you can find that in the join section of the page. Or if you would like to help support this channel by getting a super thanks, you can find that in the thanks section of the page. Just as a side note, with any donation you give, you can ask me a question and I will answer that question for you in a tarot video. All right, I scurry the crystal for you today, Aries, and the image I saw within the crystal for you was a white owl, and the white owl had a tan, excuse me, I got dog hair on the crystal, okay, the white owl has tan spots on it, and it's in a very high up in a tree, and it came in very clear in the crystal, it was very vivid, and it was looking over these treetops, and the trees were all turning like fall colored, and I could see the sunset, you know, coming down in the distance, so owls could be significant to you. Like I always say, you could have more than one spirit animal. Um, owls symbolize, you know, being very much spirit, spiritually enlightened, you know, being, you know, connected with you know, your third eye, being open, connected to the spiritual realms. And it being a white owl could also signify, you know, purity here within the crystal. All right, let's get into your reading. First card to come out for you today is the nine of cups. So with the nine of cups being here, this is, you know, happiness. This is you know, dreams coming true. This is abundance here with the Nine of Cups. And that next card to come out next to it was the Ten of Cups. So that's pretty interesting here that you got the Nine of Cups here next to the Ten of Cups. So it's you're, you're reaching one level, you know, up here. So, you know, it's like things are getting better. So you go from the Nine of Cups and to the Ten of Cups. And with the Ten of Cups, this is happiness. This is joy, abundance, you know, love overflowing here with the Ten of Cups. Next card out for you is the Ace of Cups. So with the Ace of Cups, this is happiness, joy, of the same thing, like abundance and, you know, all good things overflowing for you. And, you know, the, I haven't seen the cards come out like this, you know, with all these good cards. The next card out for you is the Eight of Coins. So with the Eight of Coins coming here, it's letting you know to keep working at something, to keep putting in, you know, your blood, sweat, and tears into something that you're manifesting here. It's letting you know to continue to do this, keep putting in the work. And the next card out for you is the Seven of Coins. So with the Seven of Coins being here, this is planting your seeds and waiting for them to grow here with the Seven of Coins. You know, this is earth energy and, you know, it's very grounded. And it's letting you know here with the Seven of Coins that, yes, you're putting in the hard work and you will see it come, you know, it will come forth. It will blossom for you here with the Seven of Coins. Next card out for you is Sweetgrass Braid Receptivity. So with this card coming out, it's letting you know to, you know, accept the, the blessings that are coming your way. You know, just allow yourself to receive this good karma that is coming towards you because this card symbolizes that you have put a lot of good into the world. And it's letting you know now it's your turn to receive it back. Next card out for you is Aloe, Resourcefulness. So with the Aloe Resourcefulness card coming out, it's letting you know here that... You know, you could be putting in a lot of work into something and it's letting you know that, you know, even if it seems like it's taking a long time to develop, it's letting you know it will develop here with this resourcefulness card. And it's letting you know whenever there's like stagnant times or, you know, stressful situations, you know, to take a step back and kind of see what we're supposed to learn about that situation. You know, so um, the medicinal benefits here of the aloe is it helps with burns and it could help, you know, with the, the body's boost of uh, vitamin absorption. And, you know, it's very healing for the skin, healing of uh, inflammation of the skin, reducing pain. And, you know, like I said, it's the first aid remedy for burns. You know, so it has lots of medicinal benefits, you know, that are worth looking into. So all in all, Aries, I see a really good reading here for you. There was like no negative cards that came out for you. And it's letting you know to keep putting in your hard work and that you will see it pay off. All right, Aries, if this resonates with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe.